she has aligned herself with. Been well earned. Oh, back slam. And got it. Feet oh. takes advantage. Oh, my. She heckles. Oh. On right on the announce table. Athleticism. Jaden. What a performance by all three. As the new. With an incredible moment here. Hello guys, it's your guy Mumblader and Elliot. It's finally the time that I post my videos on the YouTube. So I was really excited and really nervous at the same time the last day and I posted it like I'm going to reveal my face to you guys and like your comments was just really motivational and emotional. I just got myself confident, really boosted by you and I'm really thankful for you and the support and love that you gave me for the past years. Okay, uh, WrestleMania Backlash. It was an amazing pay-per-view. Like, the matches were amazing, the crowd was one of the most, the loudest crowd I've ever heard in the YouTube history. <laughs> Friends out the whole America, and like, Puerto Rico was behind it, like, we know how Puerto Rico was the loudest crowd beforehand, yeah. The first, we had a women's tag team championship match, which was not a good storyline and not a well built match, but the match itself was just really amazing. So let's talk about the entrances first. We had a Kabuki Warriors made their way to the ring with a Dakota Kai, but I don't know where Dakota Kai disappeared in the middle of the match. So Kabuki Warriors entrance is just really a vibing entrance because they have a lot of special outfits and they wear the attack titles the way that nobody does and their umbrella makes it really amazing and the face paint of Asuka is like really attractive I really love her next up we had a Bianca Belair so I really respect Bianca Belair's entrance because the fact that that she makes her own outfit like can you imagine making your own outfit for the pay-per-view it is just mind-blowing and nerve-wracking at the same time so Bianca had a red outfit and I actually really loved it because it fit her really well. They had a matching outfit with Jade Cargill. Talking about Jade Cargill, Jade Cargill has one of the best entrances in WWE right now. Not by me, by WWE fans, like just said, please do not come at me right now. So Jade Cargill has really amazing entrance, it's like the electric, the stormy entrance as her bio. And her effect of the entrance is just really amazing and really vibing. Like, I love her entrance so much. So, uh, as I mentioned, Frank's crowd was just really amazing and I love it. It always, like, had been really inspirational because we know how WWE women's came so far and just a lot of European countries, which WWE with its annually support women on this level just made me really emotional and made me really proud of women. So, even though I'm a man, yeah. So, the match itself, it was really unexpected, but I predicted the winner really well, because it was a predictable, like, considering the fact that Bianca Belair had been struggling with damage control for a very long time, and Jade Cargill made her debut at Royal Rumble, and she straight went to WrestleMania without even having a one match, yeah. She didn't even have a match before WrestleMania. And they defeated the damage control and it was impossible for them to lose. Yeah, the winner was predictable, but I really enjoyed the match. The choreography of the match was just really amazing. They really knew how to utilize four of these women considering and like going for their abilities. And there was no boach, thank God. Like, I'm really grateful because if WWE women's boach, like the internet goes viral and like the hatred is so forced because what a WWE man boach, it's like everybody makes a mistake, but when a WWE woman's boach, it's like they have no right to do it. Like, come on now. Yeah, there was no boach, and the choreography was just really amazing, as I mentioned. Like, what really embraced me is just Bianca Belair had been improving a lot in her selling. Are you guys like noticing that she was an amazing seller, but notice she's been selling to the, every move with the detail. And the fact that Jade Cargill treated Ka poor Kyrie Sam like a five kilogram handball was just really upsetting. But yeah, their delivery and the selling and the crowd work, the characters, the facial expressions was just really amazing for me. You know what? Yeah. But I'm really happy that Bianca and Jade won the Women's Tag Team Championship because we all know the history. Women's Tag Team Championship have been really disrespected at the past and 
In the future, I really hope that Jada and Bianca would elevate the women's tag team division and would face a lot of potentially an amazing wrestler and athleticism on the next level on these both of these women and they have the potential to elevate and increase the amount of WWE women's tag team divisions. But I really hope that they're not gonna have that wasteful of reign. Next up, we had a really well built Women's Triple Threat for the Women's Championship, which featured Bailey, Tiffany Stratton, and Naomi. And what can I say about this match? We all know the triple flares of the women's division. All of them has just came so far to where they are at now. And Bailey, she's been really an amazing champion, and she deserves all the hype that she's getting right now. And Tiffany Stratton, we all know her. We all have a crush on her because. The day she debuted, like, she stole our hearts with her athleticism, with her character work, with her my skills, like, come on now, she's the best. Naomi. Naomi is just getting, like, a lot of opportunities, which she definitely deserved because in the past she had been enough mistreated. Uh, the match itself was really amazing. Amazing wouldn't be an understatement because... All of the most that they displayed was just really amazing with no budge, with no lacking of an emotions, with no lacking of the power. But there were some times, but we don't want to talk about it. And the selling and the delivery was just on the next point in this match too. Like, they worked really well inside the ring and both outside the ring. Well, and the thing that about this match was really captivating because the crowd loved three of these women, there was no boo for neither of these women because the crowd loved them to the bits and Bailey had the loudest crowd in which was really amazing and well deserving and yeah, the match itself was really amazing, a winner was predictable as usual because there was no way in hell Bailey was going to lose that championship in the first defense. Yeah. I don't know if you saw, guys, Tiffany Stratton did a backstage interview which she gave her opinions and emotions and how she felt about being cheered so loved by the French fans. Like you said, Byron, three years ago, I set foot for the very first time in a WWE ring. In every single opportunity... And it made me think to the point where, like, is she turning face? Because, you know, the company is just noticing that she gets cheered all the time despite being a heel. She made her debut on SmackDown, she gets cheered so loud. She always appears, she gets cheered. She went to the Australia, there were like crazy chants for TV time. And like she went for the French, as you guys saw, she cheered so loud. And it would actually make sense if she turns face. It would be really amazing and captivating to watch her be nice, a daddy's little rich girl. And... A lot of fans have been saying that Naomi should turn heel. Is that okay, guys? Like, Naomi has been 90% of the time, she's been a face. And I really miss the heel Naomi because the fact that she has been really nice to Bailey proves that they're building up a friendship for them and she's going to turn on Bailey. Like, mark my words, she's going to turn on Bailey to turn heel. And it actually makes sense because there was. Like, in no way she's going to take a championship by being a face from Bailey. That was basically it for the WrestleMania Backlash, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for my channel. Yeah, I actually never said that, but I have to say this just to make a video longer. I know it was really short, I wanted to do a 20 minute video because, like, I really wanted to talk to you guys about something that we all love, but you know, there was a little less information, so we will do a lot of preview videos, God willing. So, let's have a little chit-chat. So, back then I was really unmotivated because my first channel, Spiteful Blink, got blocked by someone else. I don't know if you know him. I mean, you probably know him. Like, I was really unmotivated. I don't want to talk about it, but I was really unmotivated. This, like, I've been gone for like a seven month, but I still watch women's wrestling. And I just wanted to give it a one try again, like, and I posted a video and it went like a really viral and I was just really happy and I post next video, it just got 1 million views, like, considering the fact that it is right now. And I'm really thankful for you guys, for your love and support and you just to the point which I revealed my face. I never thought that I would be revealing my face on my YouTube channel and the support that you guys gave to me on my videos is just really amazing and emotional 
And I don't even know, I'm gonna cry. No, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry in my first video. So the thing that I wanted to say is just, I'm really thankful and please keep loving and supporting me. And one thing, I don't do this channel for subscribers nor for likes. I do this for a woman of WWE. Uh, the WWE woman that I fall in love with uh, five years ago. And I really want to elevate the women's uh, division onto the whole another level by worldwide. Because, you know, if one person get in, gets into the WWE by watching my video, it's just the thing that I have done my job. It's like really amazing. By being a WWE fan, I just figured out a lot of stuff and it just helped me on the way, it motivated me, it increased my self-confidence, it taught me how to stand up for myself. So, I hope we will share a long journey with you guys and I hope you enjoyed the videos today and let me know your opinions. Please, just if I have a, a lot of shortcomings, please let me know. I take all the criticism really well. A true criticism, by the way. Thank you guys so much. See you in the next time.